Hi girls, this is Sabrina and for this Fun Patch Friday activity, we're going to be baking. So we're going to do a unicorn poke cake. So I'm just going to say a few things that we're going to need. We're going to need three separate bowls because we're doing three different colors inside of the cake. We're going to need one pan to put them all in. We're going to need um, a whisk and one box of the uh, cake mix. And you're going to need all of the ingredients that it says you need on the back of that. And we're going to need some condensed milk, just one can. We're going to need the food coloring. And you wanna make sure that they are the colors that have like the teal, pink, and purple, because that's what the unicorn cake usually has. And we're going to need our cooking spray. I have here a half cup of vegetable oil already poured, our one cup of water, because that's what we're going to need, as well as three eggs. So we have our, our ingredients that we're going to need for the cake here, and we have all of our um, supplies that we're gonna be using. So before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. So since we're using a glass pan, we're going to do it at 325. So we have our oven preheated at 325 and now we're going to go ahead and get started with the cake. So we're going to start off by pouring all of the ingredients into one bowl and then we're going to separate them once we have everything mixed so that way we could add in the three different food colors. So first off we're going to pour our cake mix and then we have to do three eggs. half cup of vegetable oil and our cup of water. So that was all the ingredients we needed for the cake. I'm just going to start whisking that in. Alright, so after you have the mixture all ready to go, we're going to go ahead and pour, we're going to try to pour an even amount into each of the three bowls. So I have that, and pour a little bit in there. They're all three different sized bowls, so it might look a little different in each, but I think we have a good mixture and a good amount in each. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just shaking it, just stirring a little more. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the food coloring. So I'll do purple first. We just need a little bit of drops. I put about five. We're just gonna mix that in. You can see five goes a long way, so we don't need too much. Right. Try to get all of the mixing on the sides so we don't have anything that isn't purple. So we've got that, then we're gonna go ahead and do pink. One, two, three, four, five. As you could tell, those are fast droplets. So I'm gonna try to get as much purple off of here as I can. And then go ahead and pink. So you could tell it's a really bright pink. Really cute. All right. So we've got all of that in there. And then we're gonna go in with our teal. And just one, two, three, four, five. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna go in, mix the teal. As you could tell, the color comes out super fast and super pretty. I think these are all mixed well. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to pour into the pan. So you wanna remember to spray the pan down. So we're just gonna put a layer of this pan. And then we're gonna go in, it looks like the purple has the most. So that's gonna be our bottom layer. So we're just gonna start pouring in there. All right, so we have our first layer and we're just gonna even it out, spread it out, try to get it into every corner. So as you could tell, it covered the whole bottom, which is what we wanted it to do. All right, and now we're gonna go in with our next layer. We're gonna go ahead and do the teal. And you're just gonna spread it right on top and you don't want the layers to really combine. You want it to layer up and go right on top of one another. So we're just gonna pour that over. So we're trying to get all of that out there. All right. So you have that layer. And it doesn't have to be even, just as long as you could see the different colors. And now we're gonna go in with the pink and go right on top of that. And so there we have our three layers. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to layer it on there. And so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and stick it into the oven. All right, so we went ahead and had the cake bake for about 25 to 28 minutes and we had it out to cool for about five minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and poke the holes since it is a unicorn poke cake. So we're just gonna poke holes all around the cake. And I'm just using this spatula. You could use a wooden spoon or even a knife, anything that will help you to poke small little holes. And they could be about an inch apart. We're just gonna continue to poke the holes. And this is going to help for the condensed milk to seep through into the cake. So luckily, so the layers didn't come out as even as I wanted them to, but I'm sure when we cut the cake, you're going to be able to see the different layers because I could see them inside of the cake. So they should be able to show. So now that we have our holes in, we're gonna go ahead and just pour our condensed milk right over that. And you just wanna pour it over just like this. So after pouring the condensed milk, we're gonna go ahead and move to the frosting. So if you're following the ingredients and the instructions that are in the description, you can make your own frosting. But to simplify this recipe, we went ahead and just bought the um, Funfetti frosting. And it also came with the Fun Sprinkles. So it's a two-in-one, I would definitely recommend this. And you're just gonna go ahead and 
add pink food coloring to the frosting. And so I'm just gonna add a few drops in there and we're just gonna mix that up. So I will start off with the spatula, but it's much easier with the spoon. And as you can tell, it's turned into a really pretty pink. And we wanna just make sure we're getting all of the coloring into the frosting. And after you're done mixing, we're just gonna go ahead and place it right on top. So now that we have it all covered, as you could tell, it worked really good with the spoon instead of the spatula. So whatever works for you, and as long as you have the cake covered with the frosting, we're gonna go ahead and add the sprinkles. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle these on. And they're really cute. They have pink, purple, and yellow stars. So really great for our unicorn cake. So we have all the sprinkles on there and that is our unicorn cake. All right, so this is our finished product. So as you could tell, the layers do show. So no matter how you pour it on there, just know that it's going to come out great no matter what. So thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget to fill out the form and the link is in the description. And that's the way to get your fun patch. So thank you all so much for joining us. Have a good rest of your Friday. Bye.